Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm trying to get up and get my day started. I'm very, very tired. If you cannot tell, I probably look super tired. I was up pretty much all night with Samir. We went to the beach yesterday and I wanna say like right before we left the beach, he started getting really fussy and really whiny. Um, and then on the way home, he threw up in the car and he was pretty much burning up from the moment we got home. We got home about six o'clock yesterday. Uh, he was burning up and I had spent all night trying to get this boy's fever down because you guys know if any of you are new, a year ago, Samir was in the hospital because he got extremely sick, stopped breathing, was having seizures really bad. Whoops, sorry. I need to learn how to hold this. Oh, hold on. Time out. Um, but he had like seven seizures back to back and he was in um, the children's hospital for a few days. And whenever his fevers get really high, we just have to really watch him because then the seizures start. So my mode kicked in and I was just a mess trying to deal with him. Tank really wasn't feeling good either. It's just so weird. Like we were at the beach, they were fine. I don't know if it was just like too much water. I don't know. It really wasn't that hot. So it's not like it was the heat. We only were in the water for a little bit and got out, ate some food because we packed, took stuff to make lunches and all that. And then he just started not really feeling the best and got really whiny. So we ended up leaving because seagulls were actually trying to attack us because we had food. Hold on, this is driving me nuts. I broke my camera because I dropped it. So yeah, my uh, screen's broke. So he's in the bed behind me. Look at my poor baby. He's finally uh, doesn't have a fever. It only took all night. And the thing with Samir, if I try to give him Tylenol, you guys, he throws it up. So when he gets a fever, that puts me in a even more panic mode because I have to bring his fever down the old fashioned way, like all natural, no medication because he throws it up. Like, if I give him medicine, he will throw it up within seconds. So, it's like a battle to get him to take Tylenol. Uh, even if I try to, like, mix it in something when he doesn't feel good or has a fever, it's really hard to already push um, fluids on him. But giving him medicine is just a battle. I've even tried, like, the dissol dissolvable because his pediatrician, when I told them that, you know, whenever he does have a fever, we struggle to get him to take medicine, the liquid medicine because it throws it up so they suggested trying the dissolvable uh little um tablets for children same thing like it's just it's it's hard but i made it through the night i had finally got his fever down only took until about two in the morning to where i was comfortable to go to sleep with him next to me so now lakin is requesting french toast you guys know I make French toast all the time. That's like the staple. My kids love when I make French toast. So I'm going to make him some French toast. I'm going to make me some coffee. I decided to just do a vlog. I don't know. I I think just taking the break from YouTube. I'm just trying to find my groove, you guys. So be patient with me. I know a lot of you were used to different videos that I used to do. And I'm trying but I'm just, you guys know, life can get in the way of so many things. You could say you're going to do this, this, that. And then none of it happens. But I'm just trying to get back into the flow of maintaining a YouTube channel on top of having my kids full time, working full time, dealing with a whole bunch of other things. And it's hard. It's hard. If you're a single mom or if you're a mom in period, you know that life does not revolve around us anymore. Pretty much life controls what we got going on. And most of the time, a lot of things are unexpected. Aww. And I will say, you guys, he has been sleeping literally since we got home yesterday. He's been like in and out of it. My poor baby. But I just took his temp and he's finally cool and his body temp is back to normal. I think now whatever he had going on, he's at the end of it just fighting it off. Also, you guys, when I was in here putting my hair up, I noticed in the mirror something on the ceiling. And I turn around and my ceiling's peeling. Clearly, you can tell that at one point something leaked and there was some water damage. So I wonder if something's leaking again and that's what caused it to peel. So 
that's gonna have to get taken care of ASAP. I'm gonna put in a maintenance order because yeah, I'm not about to deal with my ceiling falling in. Mom, and no one lives upstairs above me, so clearly something's going on since that is peeling and doing that. But I'm gonna go make the kids French toast, get me some coffee going. Ugh. I'm gonna need to clean up my house. Sorry, there's a glare. Tink's in here watching, um, watching Onward. He's he's kind of cranky. Yeah, what happened? Oh no, I think mommy paused it. Hold on, I paused the TV. Hi, are you okay? Oh, you guys, look at him. You could tell he don't feel good. He looks so out of it. Come here. I feel like you're getting warm again. Aww. You thirsty? What's wrong? Come here. Aww. Baby. You don't feel good? You look so out of it, you guys. Excuse my dirty kitchen. You hungry? You want something to eat? You look so bad. Aw. I gotta give him cuddles. Hey. Hey, fat man. We've always called him fat man because he's a really chubby baby. Hey, you don't feel good? No. Your face looks so red. It's time to get a little warm again. Time to put some cool rags on him again. You okay? You okay? You don't feel good, huh? Hmm. Aw. Mommy might not be going to work tomorrow. I hate sick kids, you guys. I feel like that's like one of the worst parts of being a mom is when your kids are sick, especially when they're that little and they can't tell you what's wrong. It is like the worst, the worst feeling ever. I hate it. I hate it. Because a lot of the times you just... I think it's just the fear of not knowing what's wrong with them and then feeling like, oh, do I play a part in what's wrong with them? Like, what can I do to make them better? You know? And it just sucks when they're that small. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of... I kind of have a slight headache. So, whatever he has, I'm sure I'm probably going to get it next. That's usually how it goes, right? It goes from one person to the next person. I'm gonna try to make their French toast. I was gonna give him something to eat, but when I went to hand him something, he started to gag a little bit, so he does need to eat something. So I think for now, I'm just gonna give him some crackers to kind of nibble on because he has to be hungry. He has not ate since yesterday, but I feel like he's gonna throw up again, but he does need something. So we're gonna give him some crackers. I'm gonna put a cool rag on his forehead because he is, kind of getting warm again so I'm gonna take his temperature and see what it is okay so he doesn't have a fever but his temperature is definitely starting to go up a little bit so I'm just gonna put some wet uh, rags on him just to kind of <laughs> prevent it from going up any higher because when I took his temperature about 30 minutes ago he was uh, 97.4 or something like that so it's definitely went up some since then I know. I really don't. Since he's not burning up now, I'll let him put the blanket on. But if his temperature was up higher and he actually had a uh, fever, this blanket would be off of him. Because I would try to just cool him down the best I can. But he is laying underneath um, the AC vent. So that should hopefully cool him down some too. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Like any tips or suggestions for natural ways to bring down a fever in children because like i said Tylenol i i can attempt it but nine times out of ten you guys he's going to throw it up and that doesn't help right because then it's not doing its purpose to bring the fever down so then i have to do things like this where i have to cool him down myself and that can be a process and then it can just get scary especially if that temperature starts to get up hi say good morning 
You got donuts? Say at least someone's happy. Is your brother sick? He's like, Mom, I got my donuts. I got my TV show. I'm not thinking about you. Aww. My poor fat man. Ugh. This is now covered in throw up. And I just burnt my French toast because I heard him gagging and I ran. And yeah. Mickey Mouse blanket zero, Samir one. Throw that in there. Those are dirty. I need to wash them anyways. So I might as well just do it now. All right, you guys, it is a little bit later. I think it's like 10.30, coming up on 11 o'clock. Samir's so starting to feel a little bit better after that throw up episode. Um, I did get him to drink a little bit of apple juice and he's been laying and just watching TV. Uh, so hopefully he starts to feel a little bit better. I had to put in that uh, maintenance request for my bathroom ceiling. So that means that they will probably come any day this week. So I will need to make sure my house is clean today because I'm big on, I don't want my house dirty when people are coming up in my house. <laughs> that was just how I was raised. Uh, I guess that's always maybe why it's a good thing to at least maintain and control your house because you just never know if you're gonna have unexpected guests. Usually no one's knocking on my door that I don't know that's coming, but you just never know. My mom always used to tell me to at least pick up something every day. So if someone does unexpectedly pop up at your house, your house is not looking like it's not loved and cared for. Uh, so I will need to get my house cleaned up. I did clean uh, the main bathroom, which is the bathroom that the boys mostly use. Yeah, my bathroom's pretty clean, but I think I'm gonna go back through, wipe the sinks down, wipe the toilets. And then since I did put Samir in the bathtub last night, I'm gonna just scrub that out, you know, because he's sick. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably soak some bleach in there and get that all wiped down. And I have a load of laundry in the dryer now because I did wash that blanket and I had some other clothes that were already in the washer. So I just literally switched that into the dryer. And I also have a basket that I need to fold and put away. <laughs> I swear one of these days I will like laundry. I will find some type of love for it, but I'm gonna be honest, I just don't think that's me. I've said this before, my mom was the same way. She hated laundry and she had four kids and a working husband. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. And I always ask her, like, how did you maintain the laundry? And she's like, I don't know. When she looks at me, she sees herself all over again because she said out of all the chores and the duties that she had as being a wife and a mother, laundry was probably her worst thing that she felt like she never could get under control. I feel your mom. I feel your pain. Uh, speaking of my mom, uh, Lakin is a little bit disappointed because yesterday she was actually supposed to come over and spend the night because they haven't seen her for about two months. Um, and then Samir got sick, so I had texted her and was like, you know, hey, Samir's sick, so we might have to postpone it because today we were actually going to go swimming with my mom and kind of just hang out with her. But with him being sick, she was like, we can just wait until next weekend. So Lakin woke up a little bit disappointed because I think he realized, like, wait, it's Sunday now. My grandma was supposed to come here last night. Why isn't she here? So he was a little sad about that. But we are spending the day in the house. I'm going to just start cleaning up stuff since Samir is sick and you guys know chain of command. It's probably going to pass on to everybody in here. Who knows? Maybe he just got sick from going to the beach and he just, his body just needs to find it out because we haven't been to the beach in maybe over a month because the weather has been kind of rainy here. I'm hoping maybe that's just what it was. Maybe he just inhaled some water or something and his body's just like, uh, what's going on? So hopefully it's not like a viral thing that's gonna spread to everybody else because I can afford to be sick. <laughs> but if I have to take off work for him tomorrow, I definitely will because my kid comes first over anything. <laughs> but I'm gonna stop blabbing you guys. I need to get my butt up while he is feeling a little better and take advantage of this little downtime to start cleaning out the bathroom. Okay. 
Oh, they're watching Toy Story 4. Tank is uh, playing. Are you gonna? You want to do your work? You want to do your train track, Tank? I always um, keep the bag of their train stuff out here because I just let them bring it in the living room. Here's some mirror. Oh. Yeah, baby. He just looks so miserable. He is drinking a little bit more. This was full, so I'm happy with that. Because he did wake up. Um, He had to pull up on overnight and he he did go but i don't think he's went since he's been up so I'm trying to just get him to drink anything i can let him just kind of lay it out rest it out huh baby Aww. send extra love and well wishes for samir to feel better because you guys know when we're when our babies are sick it just makes us so sad What's wrong? Are you scared of this part? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's scared of this part of the movie. <laughs> All right, tell him to the train out so we can do uh, play with the trains, but he's scared. They got this, uh, well, part of this is from Ikea, and then majority of the rest of these train tracks, they have way more um, they got for Christmas last year. I uh, bought him a huge train set. And then there's Woody. Tank was on a Woody obsession for a while. He still he still loves them and plays with them. <laughs> I'm going to actually be um, decluttering their toys. I might do that this afternoon. I know my last vlog I said I was going to do it. I didn't get around to it because we went to the carnival and we're just doing other stuff. But I do want to go through and declutter and get rid of a lot of their toys. Because I feel like they have a lot that they don't play with. So we're going to go through, I'm going to let them kind of pick out some of the stuff that they would like to keep because I feel like that's important to do because I don't want to just go in there and throw everything away. Although I could totally be like my mom. <laughs> she used to tell us if it's on the floor, you got two days to get it up, but if not, it's in the trash. But guess what? I paid for all this stuff, so... No! No! Uh, what? Mm -mm. You don't want me to do your train track? Can I play? <laughs> but where I was going, I paid for all this, so I'm not just throwing it in the trash. I like my mom's thinking. I get it. No. Especially when we yeah. have to clean up. He's the mad. Train. Oh. There's a train on there. Oh. He wants to show you guys how he does his train. I swear these are some of the greatest moments. Let him make the mess. Just let him be creative. And he like loves train sets, you guys. He loves putting them together. And it keeps him calm and happy, so I'm okay. I'll let him take over my living room to go ahead and set up his train. It keeps him quiet. Just throw my shoe, why don't ya? <laughs> There's like random shoes all over the floor. I got like some sandals over there my slippers his random shoes there's just shoes everywhere that's the joy of three boys there's like never-ending shoes on top of me who has a lot of shoes <laughs> that's what I need to purge next is our shoes You gonna do that one next? No. Oh, no, no. <laughs> they have much more trains too. They're probably buried in their room. I'm sure we'll find them. Okay, why can't you? Why is it not connecting? Stop. There we go. I sure will find Stop, them. Stop it, Go ahead, move it. Oh. You gonna make it go? No. All right. Wakey, woke up. Who's that? No! <gasps> Madonna! Madonna! What happened? <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm a horrible mom. 
<laughs> instigating him. What the? Antagonizing you him. Him. What's like Woody he, doing? What, do you, what is he doing? Yeah. You're gonna make Woody push the train? Okay. <laughs> Look. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> what? <laughs> wait. <laughs> hey, don't hit Woody. No, wait, don't. <laughs> wait, wait. Wow! Oh. <gasps> no. oh, you're having a. Nope. You there you go. No! Oh, sorry. I knew that. You see yourself? You say hi? Say hi, guys. I said hello. No. Do you like being on the camera? Huh? It's Samuel. Samuel. I thought you said you wanted to be a YouTuber. I thought you wanted to be Samuel. Let's go find Samuel. Whatever. He's content. He's doing his train. Yep. I guess I'll stop dreading and go clean the bathroom real fast. <laughs> You gotta find the other piece to connect it. Whoa. Yay. <laughs> Yay! So this is how the bathroom's looking, you guys. Um, I did do a bathroom makeover, like when I first moved in. So kind of give you an update of how it's holding up. I don't know if I really like the peel and stick paper. As you can see from the kids, it's like peeling here. It's starting to look a little crappy. So I'm gonna probably redo, redo the doors. And also I will note, Another reason why it kind of looks so bad up here is because I was running out of peel and stick paper. So this was kind of like the scraps of what was left over. The rest of it still looks really good. It's just these last pieces when I did the top there and a little bit right here too. So I'm going to redo that, but the counters still look really good. That was also peel and stick contact paper. And then this is the rest of the bathroom. You guys will have to check that video out um, to see the transformation because it definitely was outdated and I brought this bathroom to life. <laughs> so we're gonna clean this up, get it all nice and sanitized because it's a little dirty with sickness. Jump into the car on a Friday night I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the near This is absolutely disgusting, disgusting. So I'm gonna clean this. Check inside your guys' toothbrush holder because these get pretty gross. I'm gonna put um, some peroxide in here, let it soak, and then I'm also going to soak the toothbrushes in peroxide.
You heard sizzling? Gross. Disgusting. Now you're just gonna get a cup, set your two portions all in there. This is something that you definitely should do if you are sick to get rid of all the germs. And I would also do this once a week because you gotta think our toothbrushes are just literally sitting out. They're going in our dirty mouths, all of that. So I'm gonna fill it to where it covers. I don't even dilute it. You want it to be just peroxide. A little bit more. Yeah, it's gonna clean all of that nasty. Oh, that one has a lot of germs on it. I don't really use my purple toothbrush. But, uh, yeah. Highly recommend you guys do this if you are looking for a way to disinfect your toothbrushes in between you purchasing new ones because it's not like you're gonna use a new toothbrush every time you brush your teeth. This has been something I've been doing for a very long time. It's just amazing how much bacteria is on everything that we use every day. Gross, but so satisfying. This is still sizzling. So much germs. And that's just from just water buildup. Disgusting. I used to never look inside these until one day I did. And I was so grossed out by how much water buildup and dirt was in there. get real and true you guys this is the life of having boys there is pee everywhere I highly do not recommend boys <laughs> just kidding I love every single bit of them besides this this is the part they don't tell you about when you got to get down to the nitty-gritty and your life is consumed by pee Ugh. So I sprayed over here and it's like, oh, it stinks. It stinks. So I go over this, I'm gonna clean this up, but then I go over this floor with bleach. Yeah, and bleach is the only thing that's getting rid of this. <laughs> gross, boys are so gross. They need to learn how to aim. Even as a grown man, they still can't aim. <laughs> I'm gonna go through with these uh, disinfectant Clorox wipes and wipe all along the baseboards because they have a lot of pee over here. my toilet is all cleaned I just this is finally done uh, fizzing so I'm gonna use this nifty tool I bought this thing man probably over a year ago um, when I still lived at the previous house um, this is perfect for the nitty-gritty areas it's a scrub brush and it turns on like this <laughs> this thing will clean some stuff 
It's perfect for your sinks, little nooks and crannies like that. I'm gonna use it in here to get in there because it's gonna be kind of hard for me to thoroughly clean that out. Much better, that's how it's supposed to look. Clean your toothbrush holders, I promise you. They are disgusting. These are all done. I let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. I pretty much let it soak while I clean the toilet, so 10 minutes later. Look at how disgusting that water is. And that's probably like food from the toothbrush. Yeah, gross. We got this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem you become like a wall And every time I trip it's a free fall Why don't you help me the way I help you You don't have to save me, just be my parachute When I'm feeling down you're just not there Making sure I'm okay Why don't you help me the way I help you I will link this little nifty tool um, down in the description box. I did order it on Amazon. Ooh, that was kind of too close to my face. Um, I did order it on Amazon. Like I said, this thing is gonna reach all the areas. It's perfect for like along the baseboards, your sinks, little nooks and crannies that you can't really get to with like just a rag or so. This will get it all off. It will get up some tough things that are kind of stuck and stained to whatever area you're cleaning. Highly recommend this thing. It's about it's under $30. I feel like I paid like 20 something for it, but it is worth every single penny. So the whole time that I've been cleaning the bathroom, you guys, I've been letting all of the toys soak in the tub with the bleach water. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drain that water out. I'm gonna um, scrub the toys with some Dawn dish soap just to kind of clean off some of the bleach, run some under the hot water, then those are good to go and save for the kids again. Um, this is something that you're definitely going to want to do if they are sick and they've been playing with the toys, putting them in their mouths. And it's something that you should be doing periodically too because again, germs, bacteria, our kids are some dirty little people. <laughs> so this is my way of sanitizing the tub and the toys um, for my kids to get rid of all the germs.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and kind of just hanging out and seeing some real mom life moments with a sick one. I know it is so scary whenever my kids are sick. I hate just not knowing what's wrong, what I need to do, and you kind of just wing it. I also hope you enjoyed seeing how I deep clean and disinfect my bathroom. Deep cleaning is so crucial, not even for cleaning after you've had a sick one but also for just cleaning and maintaining a cleaner space because we all know the bathroom can get pretty gross i know it's not a favorite thing of mine to do but someone has to do it so i hope you guys enjoy just kind of seeing what i do to stay on top of and give my bathroom a good thorough clean if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and until the next one stay beautiful stay blessed and don't forget how strong and powerful you are